Egypt, Egypt, Egypt. Golden vibes like on fleek right now. And I need to just talk about the frequency of Egypt, the frequency of Africa. I mean, I feel so blessed that I do indeed live here. I have, I've lived in Africa for 21 years and my husband is, you know, African born and so are my kids and everything like that. And, and it's like they have a root system here, but I have a soul root system here. They have like a physical lineage as well as a soul lineage. I have a a soul lineage here and so do so many of us because this is pretty much where humanity began this is like the 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 golden the golden ank of the rest of the world i mean truly it is um and africa people come here and they they you know you 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 just you can't be not touched by this place doesn't matter where you go there is something that will just touch your soul and kind of like ignite a remembering and that is why so many people um they venture to africa a lot there's a lot of pilgrimages to be had here i mean africa is a huge huge continent i mean i'm based in cape town south africa which has got its own powerful energy with the mountains and things like that really powerful a lot of dragon energy Ta table mountain is all about dragon energy is very galactic and we all know like you know i'm i'm galactic shaman vibes so i'm in my element down here but also as well i'm very connected to to zimbabwe i have a home there as well very very spiritual in fact the zambezi is where they say that the humanity began um you you go to the zambezi river and you you won't be the same person if you, as you've left there and of course egypt i mean like there is so much there is so much in your soul lineage in africa that you put your feet on this land and you will remember period you know and and that is what my soul mission is all about is is to to be a space holder for africa in in my way in the way that i've agreed to do it and um like i said i've been here for 21 years and my journey has been extensive and powerful and yeah i'll write a book about it one day you know but egypt 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 has basically exploded come online you know like People are just like having dreams about Egypt. All of a sudden, you might be experiencing an overnight obsession with Egypt and it's like, oh my God, why, why is it everywhere? Um, and it's because it's calling. It's calling. And now it's time. That we are in a timeline, a really, really powerful timeline, where it's time to remember. I mean, really, it's what I call that balloon pop moment. And I'm so excited because I want to talk a little bit about my path to purpose because my mission and purpose in this life is to ignite, um, to activate as many beings as possible into remembering who they are and specifically to do with their mission and purpose, igniting their gifts and skill sets, which all sits in your blueprint. So you can come and do the work that you said you were going to do to assist in the in the raising of the frequency of, 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 of Earth, basically, and the universe. I mean, that's the ultimate mission, isn't it? You know, but then we bring it down to base camp. What does that look like in the world? Because that's all great to get lost in the stars. What does it mean to you? Are you going to go and build an ashram? Are you going to open a bookstore with all esoteric books? Are you going to do what I do and, and, and have sacred travel, um, organize that for everyone and bring it to a certain specific place in the world or all over the world? What's your mission and purpose? So my work is all about the, the, the leaders, the way showers, the pioneers. You know, even if you're not sure or you're unaware that that is what's going on inside of you, I can actually turn it on because deep down you'll know that there's something going but I can turn it on I can ignite, ignite that frequency and then you will start to remember and then you go to places like Egypt which ignite that golden frequency and you kind of sit there and go well how does how does going into the Isis temple or the great pyramid or anything like that help me in in building a business being of light a spiritual business or, or whatever it is being an entrepreneur in the in your highest expression let me tell you it does and it will my in my trip to Egypt, okay, I've done three trips to Egypt. This will be my fourth taking my own group. But how magical and amazing is this? My, my pathway to power, finding my own power, um, my pathway to purpose, you know, um, activating my skills and leadership. When I went to Egypt the first time, I vibrated in inadequacy. I was with a group of 40 people. I felt so small. I mean, it was magical and amazing going there, but but the basically the default I came back from Egypt with was like, I am so small. I don't want to do that. I'm terrified. I vibrated. So that was trip one, inadequacy. Trip two, I went and I experienced huge initiations. 
physical, physical um, Kundalini awakenings. I mean, it was powerful. It was intense, and it was it was it was strong. That was trip two. So you can probably call that awakening, remembering. The third trip I went on was just with myself, my husband, and, and Walid, who is my um, partner in Egypt. Um, he's the other side of all of this. And, you know, I went there on my birthday, February the 11th, which is coming up now. A year ago, I was there and I was in the Temple of Isis and I went to the land and I asked for the land for its, its permission for me to bring my own groups because I was ready. So and, and now a year later, here I am um, with several sacred travel retreats under my belt this year. Just boom. But the Egypt tour is basically pretty much full bar one or two spaces. So. It's not here to sit here and gloat and go, oh, look at me. That's not why I'm saying this. It's to actually show you how the frequency of Egypt ignited my codes within, which turned on my, um, my, my mission, which started to activate the, the, the reason why I'm here. And my choice in frequency was Egypt. And look, everybody's different. You might find that there's, you, you're more India or there's going to be that nut in the gut that's waiting to be ignited, which really holds all the magic. But for a lot of us... Um, Egypt is obviously right there because it's right at the beginning. That's where we all kind of started, Atlantis over to Egypt. So that's where we all were, right? So you can't not resonate with it. So that place holds a lot of codes for you to remember. Now, I don't expect you to sort of sit there and go through what I went through because that's why I'm a way shower because I go places first to unpack it and go, wow, that was really powerful. But how can we do that with less pain? Quicker and more efficiently without basically snot and tears and nearly dying on the Nile. <laughs> like, let's, let, let's not do that. And, and we won't do that because now I've kind of like unpacked the frequency and I've made it more fluid um, to hold the space for people to access what they need to access to be able to, to get the end game, which is where I'm sitting right now. This is the end game. Now stepping into my leadership skills, really in alignment with my mission and purpose, what I've come here to do, which is to work with groups and help people activate and remember. I am not here to teach you stuff because you don't need to be taught. You need to remember. My frequency is my frequency. I have a unique soul design. So do you. So I cannot impress what I am doing onto you. I've got my own way of doing it, but so do you. So it's for me to hold that space and direct you and guide you and give you things to think about and, and bring through activations to bring your energy online so you can now access the Akashic record, I suppose, which there's a book in your library that you've actually put up there that you're going, that's, that's got everything in there. The book of me in this timeline of how I'm going to launch my mission and purpose. Do you know what I mean? So, so that, so today is a real celebratory day. It's number eight today, 8th of February. So that is like real abundance vibes. Turn it on your side, infinity. Um, and number eight is very strong with the, the Great Sphinx. And that is the first day. That is the first private visit that we do. And the Great Sphinx is all about connecting. You connect with the Sphinx with the infinity symbol. That's how you connect. And it's all to do with mission and purpose, funnily enough. Those are the codes, some of the codes that the Sphinx will help you with. So you're going to go to Egypt and you're going to access that. And you're going to activate all of that within you and start working with the temples. That's how you have Egypt help you in this, this modern day life. Ancient wisdom, modern day living. And that's what it's all about. So this trip to, to, to Egypt is golden. It's really golden. And it's, it's a real culmination for me because my whole journey to this timeline now, I'm saying to you, look, if I can do this and I can hold the space for so many and I can teach my wisdom to assist others in remembering their wisdom and I've done this, then you can too. Because let me tell you, I was a scared, scared um light being but not so light stuck in the back of the cave i've suffered drug addiction nervous breakdowns all the rest of it because i was just too scared to be in this lifetime you know and i denied it and i pushed it away deny 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 and and now now i've gone through all of that so you don't have to because i've put all that into the grid work right and we make either easier pathways because you were supposed to wake up at this timeline at this very moment so you don't have to do all of that and that's what it's all about so I'm going to share more and more on how I have stepped into my leadership skills because the thing is, if you are a spiritual entrepreneur or you're a, even a business entrepreneur, it doesn't matter if you're an entrepreneur, you're a pioneer, you're a thought leader and you've got something big going on, you're aware of it or you can just feel it inside you haven't birthed it yet. You know, this this is very important for you because it's basically a one-time hit. You go big or you go home, right? And you go to Egypt, you come out and the work that I 
hold that hold the space with all of my work even the 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 retreat and ceremonies we're doing next week we've got a big event next week and that's the same vibe it's basically you know it, it's going to these places for you to switch the switch on and remember and there's many different ways of doing this but if you want to do it in a big way I mean, Egypt is a 10 day tour. There is much in there through my work that's going to be intricately woven through the tour. And of course, just the energy of Egypt alone. That's going to bring you online. Anyway, I'm going to stop waffling because I could just talk about this for days and I need to let you sit with this and let it marinate. But like, yeah, this is a very, very special day um, for me personally. And I wanted to share it with you because I certainly wasn't that person who sits here. I was been in the dark for a very, very long time and I've suffered a lot of like anxiety, fear, um, like I say, addiction. And, and here I am now saying to you, it's possible. It's possible. Why? Because I'm doing it and I'm a divine reflection of you. So anyway, peace and love y'all. Thanks for watching. Link is in bio. Okay. Um, and if you're watching this on YouTube, I'll put the link underneath and on there is all of the information. Just click on there. You'll see. And yeah, we've got until the 22nd of February. If you do feel the call for Egypt, you got to get in touch and we got to go. I mean, we do have another one to Jordan in September, so that might be more to do with you. I'll start talking about that very soon. But for now, let it marinate. <laughs> Love and light, y'all. And happy 8th. May abundance shower upon you and all your loved ones. Peace.